And our other big story here at 6 o'clock, they're known as a symbol of the West, but the majority of wild horses in this U.S., this is a good thing because they're right here in Nevada, but the federal government claims there's not enough room for them here, so they capture them. And the way they capture them has been controversial for a long time. Yeah, some of the horses get injured, others die. It is an issue the 8 News Now I-Team has been following for decades, and the I-Team's Vanessa Murphy here with the latest move to address concerns. Denise and Brian, wild horse advocates argue the way the Bureau of Land Management captures wild horses is inhumane. The BLM is required by law to hold hearings about this, but this time there may be even more public outcry after video we showed right here on 8 News Now. It also prompted a federal lawmaker to try to take action. But the roundups with helicopters are the worst. You saw the pictures from the most recent one at the Pancake area near Ely, where they chased that little colt till he just ran down, and then they had to shoot him. What purpose does that serve? In a recent interview, Congresswoman Dina Titus first chaired with the 8 News Now I team. She wants to eliminate helicopters during the capturing of wild horses. The I team first showed you this video of contractors hired by the Bureau of Land management using a helicopter to chase this horse with a broken leg. The animal was eventually euthanized, but that's after it had been placed in a truck and driven on bumpy land. This was in January as the BLM captured wild horses at an area called the Pancake Complex, about a four-hour drive north from Las Vegas. We need to find another method, and the first thing we can do is get rid of, outlaw, ban those helicopters. While Congresswoman Titus is introducing the Wild Horse and Borough Protection Act of 2022, the BLM will hold its annual hearing on the use of the equipment she wants to ban. Members of the public can weigh in virtually on April 26th. Laura Lee of advocacy group Wild Horse Education says she's hoping more members of the public will speak against the BLM's actions, and she wants the BLM to take concerns seriously. She provided the I-Team with this video and says she'll continue to expose mistreatment like this. And so that people can see it with their own eyes and see how urgently change is needed. According to Congresswoman Titus, those contractors the BLM hires to capture the horses get about five to eight hundred dollars per horse. She says fertility control is more cost effective and it would save taxpayers money. Uh, Denise, we've previously reported on a program where they use darts, and we've learned that the Biden administration set aside more money recently for fertility control. Right. Um, so I know that some people, there's so many different opinions on this topic, but some people say, you know what, just leave them alone, let them just do their own thing. Some people believe the BLM puts other interests ahead of the wild horses, uh, like ranching. They also think the BLM just needs a better plan overall. More stories at 8newsnow.com on that for our viewers. Also information about that upcoming hearing.